Hey guys and welcome to my new guide. Today, it's the Whisperer for everyone. In this guide, I'll show you how to get your first few KC of the Whisperer. So keep in mind your inventory setup may change over time as you get more used to the boss. First of all, I'm not one of the biggest PVMer in the game. And that's why I think my guide will be really good for a majority of the player base, because if I can do it, you too. In my opinion, the Whisperer is the hardest of the four boss from Desert Treasure 2. Because the last phase introduced a new mechanic, the Sanity, that will kill you if you take too much time to take him down. So for this boss, you want to bring your best mage gear. If you have a full ancestral set with a Tumekan, you will easily pass the DPS check. If you are using Harim with a Toxic Trident, you will absolutely want to bring Troll on the Arcurus spellbook to help you finish the last phase in time. After 10kc with my Arim set, I honestly asked my friend to lend me his Ancestral as it do help a lot with the magic accuracy, give a notable damage boost, and my Nodal RNG was getting in the way. The Virtus set is also a good option, since it has the same accuracy bonus than the Ancestral and give a slight damage bonus. Or your special weapon. If your main weapon is the Tumekan, you may want to bring the Volatile Nightmare Staff since it got a powerful special attack that do up to 82 damage and you won't need to reduce the boss defense using the Tumekan. If you're using a Sanguinesti Staff or a Toxic Trident, you should bring the Accurate Scepter since its special attack drains 15% of the magic defense from the boss, helping you a lot in DPS. It may be useful to use its special Asug on time during the Enrage phase, but we don't know yet if the boss regenerate his magical defense stat while healing before the last phase. Keep that in mind. For the first few attempts, I will recommend bringing your Sir's Ring or the Magus Ring if you were lucky enough to get one for the maximum accuracy bonus. After, you could go with the Suffering Ring for its defense bonus and its plus 4 prayer or the Ring of the God for its plus 8 prayer bonus. You will also want to bring a Venator Bow if your budget permitted Otherwise, you will do just fine with a Toxic Blowpipe. I brought the Saturated Hurt, but if you don't have it, you can use Forgotten Brew that will give you a plus 10 magic bonus. Bring a lots of Prayer or Super Restore Potion and a couple of Double Heat. Bring one Stamina Potion. You will need it for the road. Don't forget your Rune Pouch with either Ice Barrage on the Ancient Spellbook or the Book of the Dead if using Troll on the Archeo Spellbook. To get to the Whisperer before obtaining your Cyrenic Tablet, you can use the Lassar Teleport and your Ancient Spellbook if you're using Ice Barrage to freeze the boss. Or, you may need some Lassar Teleport Tablet if you're using Trolls, since you will be on the Archeo Spellbook. Then, click on the new added shortcut to get to the entrance of Camdozol. Follow the road to the northeast until you get to the big hole with the rope that you previously added in the quest. Then once down, you may use the teleporter close by and choose the cathedral. This will bring you right in front of the arena to fight the boss. Let's talk about the sanity. You have a small bar in the upper left corner that lets you see how much sanity you have. If it gets to zero, you will likely have to TP out or you will die because you will permanently take high damage over time in the Shadow Realm. You can lose sanity by getting hit by the boss mechanic or over time while being in the Shadow Realm will regenerate slowly in the normal world. The Whisperer attack cycle will change every phase. In the first one, you will only use one attack cycle per chain attack, either 3 magic or range attack. You just have to pre accordingly. The magic attack are the blue projectile, and the range attack are the red one. Same as the Leviathan, these projectile hit are only registered when they touch you. You will also spawn 10 tag after firing a stern missile in a plus or X pattern that will send wave on your position that can be avoided by clicking one tile away. He will change phase around 25% of his life, and he will do a special attack every time he do so, not always in the same order. Every time you do a special attack, you need to use your blackstone fragment to go to the shadow realm. For the screech special, you need to hide behind the pillar with the lowest health first, then the second lowest, and keep the one that's full health for the hand. You must be quick because if he hit you with the screech attack, you will lose 45 sanity and hit point. Once you get out of a special attack, if you're in a range of 10 tile of him, he got high chance to send a biting projectile on you and will then move toward you to try to attack you in melee. If you brought ice barrage, you can simply freeze him as soon as he start moving. 
If you brought Thrall, he can just run out of the 10 tiled range and he will restart his normal attack cycle before having time to melee you. If he does reach you, free protect from melee to mitigate some of the damage and try to put some distance between yourself and the boss. In the second and third phase, he will either send two magic attack followed by a range one or two range attack followed by a magic one. Now let's talk about the next special attack, the Lost Souls. The Whisperer will summon 12 souls and siphon energy from them. If the attack is not interrupted in time, she will send a shockwave dealing massive damage and healing itself in the process. To interrupt it, enter the Shadow Realm and kill one set of spirits chanting the same phrase. The quickest will be to kill the two yellow spirits chanting Vita. You will have enough time to kill 5 or 6 with a blowpipe, or all ghosts with the Venator bow. The Vita spirit restores some of your HP, the Horatio spirit restores some of your prayer, the Sanita spirit restores some of your sanity, and the Morris spirit deal 50 damage to the Whisperer. If you kill them all, the effect are increased by 50%. And you will receive all the effect at once. If using the Venator bow, you want to hit the top or bottom spirit. If the middle one is hit, then it will only bounce to one spirit. Now let's talk about the last special, the leeches. Same as the other special, you need to enter the Shadow Realm by using your Blackstone. Once there, simply walk on each light green leeches on the ground. This will also drain some of your prayer and prevent the Whisperer healing. If you step on the non-lighted one, you will take 20 damage each time. In the last phase, she will alternate between both attacks, either magic, range, magic, or Range, Magic, Range. Continue like that until she get to 0 HP, where she will heal 140 HP and Enrage. This is the most difficult phase. The boss will attack faster while always sending two attacks of the same, and will start with the range attack, then alternate. You will lose sanity if the 10 attack hit you, and you will also lose some over time. That's why this part is a DPS check and having Troll will greatly help you there, especially if you're using Harem. It is recommended to run in a L pattern. This will help you to avoid all the tenta. Focusing on movement is the priority since the Whisperer attack won't drain your sanity, even if it hits you of prayer. You can try to do the following. You attack, move, prayer switch while moving, you attack, and you move. You really need to always be in movement here to avoid the tenta. And guys, never get in melee range during the enrage phase, or you will get delete. Having lower gear and not bringing troll can make it way more difficult at the end, since it will take you more time and you will be prone to more error. Let's see the difference. Oh, I also got hit by two tentacle, plus I was nodding a lot toward the end. Keep in mind she switched style every two attack, and since the range and mage attack have a different sound, this can help you to know when changing style if you're not directly looking at the Whisperer because you're trying to click to move. Tomorrow I will upload a full kill while using Harem and Troll to show you that it's possible and that Troll do a big difference in the enrage phase. Now go kill the Whisperer guys. Dying on my hot prime, man. <laughs>